Shalom everyone, this is Ty Green. As we all are aware, a big X across America will be completed on April 8th of 2024. Many are wondering, even now, will anything happen on that date? With the solar eclipse across America in 2017 coupled with the one upcoming in 2024 forming an X, is this a harbinger of the demise of America. Surely, a warning like this seven years apart means something, right? I believe that the short answer is yes, it is indeed a harbinger, meaning a warning upcoming, just like the wonders in the heavens of Revelation chapter 12, warning of Israel's 70th week soon to begin, described as a woman in travail, in addition, to that other warning of a rise of a multipolar world power described as a beast. In the year 2024, those celestial warnings will be seven years old. Now, the question is whether those solar eclipses of 2017 and the one upcoming in 2024 will serve as harbingers of the demise of America. Most likely the demise of America will not occur on April 8th of 2024, as harbingers are warnings of what is to come. What does make this interesting is the timing, as time is running out for America, especially if she is indeed Mystery Babylon, because she is destroyed right here within scripture we see it in revelation chapter 17 verse 16 and the ten horns which you saw upon the beast these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire as we've studied before in the book of daniel chapter 7 and verse 23 that beast is a kingdom. In verse 24, we see that those 10 horns on that beast represent the same 10 kings that we read of right there in Revelation chapter 17, verse 16. This represents a multipolar world power. We also see in Revelation chapter 13, verse one, that upon those 10 horns, there are 10 crowns. These appear to be monarchies that partner with these 10 world leaders that make up this block. Looks just like the upcoming 10 BRICS nations representing the horns partnering with the OPEC countries that are monarchies representing the crowns. Except it appears that those monarchies are not militarily involved with the demise of a unipolar hegemony world power described as a woman, Mystery Babylon. Now, we will get into identifying her further in another video, but relative to the time span in which this happens, notice there are only 10 members of this multipolar world power involved in this complete destruction of America. And it is done before the Antichrist reaches full power. This would indicate that this destruction of America happens during the first half of Israel's 70th week. And how do we know this? Because back in the book of Daniel chapter seven, verse 24, we see that the 11th horn, the AC, the Antichrist shows up and then he subdues three of them. There will no longer be 10 horns within that block. The group of 10 will be reduced to seven. And when you include the AC, he will be the eighth. So this solar eclipse across America on April 8th of 2024 points towards a countdown to the destruction of America. The same destruction that we cite within scripture the word of God does not give a date, yet it does share events that we can track 
which lead into this. We know within this sequence of events that there is a global collapse that leads into the rise of that multipolar world power. And it appears that the multipolar power is around at the same time as the unipolar world power, just before her demise. We see this in the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 3. And Apostle John records this. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast. You see that? full of names and blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. See, they're together. At the same time, they exist. She's soon to be gone, folks, but fear not. Those in Christ, the people of God, will come out of her. Says it right here, Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Rest assured that it's not only America that's going to face judgment, it's the whole world. Isaiah 13 and 9, Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil. You see in this? And the wicked for their evil iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible, sin, iniquity, and wickedness. That's why this is all going down. But you can be saved. As we watch this area of biblical prophecy unfold, we're watching the warnings that scripture shares and the encouragement in Christ within it. The opportunity to come to know the truth that is extended to us every day, the gift of God, salvation through Jesus Christ. Folks still don't believe that this is going to go down, yet they can tell that something just doesn't add up. Something isn't right. Take heed to the Word of God. It describes what's going on and why. The whole point of it all serves a purpose because when that voice from heaven says, come out of her, my people, you want to be ready. And if by chance you've passed on beforehand, your soul would be found in the Lord. Prep your soul, right? So. This is not so that we will be in fear. It is to encourage faith. Faith in Jesus Christ. It is to encourage us to repentance and toward salvation through Jesus Christ. Ephesians 1 and 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the richness of his grace. 2 Peter 3 and 9, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. 1 John 1 and 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Today is the day of salvation. You can be prepared to meet God right now. You must 
believe in your heart that Jesus died for you on that cross. For we have all sinned and all fall short of the glory of God. For we all have a sin debt that we cannot pay. The wages of sin is death, right? So we must trust in what Jesus did for us up on that cross. We must believe it with our hearts and confess it with our mouths. Jesus was buried and on the third day, God raised him up. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. So just come as you are. Look at this, Titus 3, verses 3 through 7. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God, our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. All right, I will leave it right there. We must use our remaining time wisely. Amen. Live holy before the Lord. Love y'all. Shalom. Shalom.